In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create a schema in MongoDB database and how you can store the registered user value inside the database. So let me show you how you can create a schema first inside this project. So inside my server folder right here, as you can see, I have three folders inside it, controller, database and router. Inside this server folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to name it model. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and I'm going to name that file schema.js. Now the file name is completely upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to create a MongoDB schema. So I'm going to say here constant mongoose. I'm going to first require the mongoose module like this. So you just need to create a new instance of the schema object. So I'm going to just first say here constant user schema is equal to and then I'm going to specify here new mongoose dot schema. You can notice I'm going to just access this schema object and I'm going to specify here parentheses and I'm going to just specify here object and then I'm going to pass a different parameter to it. I'm going to create a simple new instance of this schema to specify the structure of my database. In MongoDB, we're going to specify the structure for the collection. Inside the collection, we have document. Inside one collection, you could have multiple documents. Let me create this collection and specify the structure of it first. So as you know, inside my registration, I have email, username, password, and check password. Let me first create here email. I'm going to specify here a key called email, and then specify here colon and an object. To this object, you need to specify different properties. I'm going to specify here type string now the email is a type of string. I'm going to specify string value inside this email. So I'm going to specify here type string. Just out of that, here I'm going to specify unique. Unique is going to be true. All my emails need to be unique. Then I'm going to specify here required. Required is going to be true. You can find all these properties from the Mongo's website. Type property is going to specify the type for this email. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here comma. And then I'm going to specify here password. Then specify the type of password, which is going to be string. We are going to store string values inside this password. So I'm going to specify here string. And then I'm going to specify here required true. Just down here, I'm going to specify the minimum length of the password. You also have the minimum length inside the MongoDB database. So here I'm going to say mean length is going to be eight characters. Just for that, let me add another field, which is going to be username and this is also a type of string that's it you can notice this is the structure of my document inside my document i'm going to store email password and username now let me create a collection and store this document inside that collection so just down here i'm going to simply say mongoose dot model model method is going to allow us to create collection inside mongodb so you need to first specify the collection name. I'm going to specify a name to this collection user. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this collection. Just out of that, as a second parameter right here, you need to specify the schema. As you know, we have the schema variable here. So I'm going to specify here user schema, just like this. So this will just create this document inside this user collection. And then I'm going to export this user collection. So let me first specify this collection to the variable like this. So I'm going to just specify this user collection to the user variable and then I'm going to export it. So I'm going to say here module dot exports is equal to just like this. I'm going to just first create the user collection and specify this document to it. I'm going to specify the structure of my document and specify that to the user variable and I'm going to export that user variable. Now, let me save this file. Now, let me show you how you can store values inside the MongoDB database. So, I'm going to back to my controller first. And you can notice here inside my registration, I have all my input values inside these variables. Just down here, I'm going to just respond with these input values. Now, what I want, I want to store all these values inside my database. Let me first open my MongoDB database. Once you open the MongoDB cluster, you can notice you have the collection button here. Just click on it. When you click on the collection, you will notice you don't have any collection right now inside your database. You don't have any database or any collection inside this MongoDB project. 
let me create that so i'm going to open my controller and just down here right here inside this register user controller right down here i'm going to store all these values inside my database so before this response right up here i'm going to simply use my mongodb scheme so let me first import the scheme at the top so i'm going to say here constant user is equal to and then i'm going to require double dot forward slash and then i'm going to specify the model and my schema file now i'm going to just use this schema and store values inside it so just down here i'm going to say using document structure and here i'm going to simply create a new instance of the schema so i'm going to simply say here new user and in the parenthesis i'm going to pass an object and inside this object i'm going to pass my values this one so i'm going to first specify the value to the email so i'm going to just specify here email then specify password as you know we have the password field inside my schema you can notice here i'm going to specify value to it so here i'm going to specify password hash i'm going to specify this hash value to this password now you can notice i don't need to specify key to this first value because the value and the key are same that is why i don't need to specify any key to this email otherwise you can specify here email like this both are identical so i'm going to just specify here email then specify here comma and then specify my username so i'm going to just specify here username that's it this will just create a new document and then let me just store this document inside a variable so i'm going to say here constant new user and just out of that you need to save this data inside the mongodb database this will just simply create an instance of the document so i'm going to just simply say here new user i'm going to use this variable and call a method of it which is going to be save this method is going to save all this data inside mongodb database so to the save method you need to specify new user variable this one just out of that i'm going to call a chain method and then i'm going to call here then new user is going to return a promise and execute this save method first and then execute this then method inside this then i'm going to specify here register as a parameter and inside it i'm going to simply specify response dot json and in the parenthesis i'm going to simply specify register just like this just out of that i'm going to specify here dot and call the catch method and then specify here error and then call here a function and inside this i'm going to specify response dot status and in the parenthesis i'm going to specify status code 406 and send the response as json and here i'm going to specify error i'm going to first print the system error so i'm going to specify here error dot message and then i'm going to print the default value so in the double code i'm going to specify something when wrong while while registration so if we don't have any value inside this variable i'm going to print this default message just for that let me just get it off this response right from here and save this file now let me just back to my postman testing tool and test this register route so i'm going to simply open my postman testing tool and head on to the post request i'm going to select the post request and specify the route register and specify my json data when i click on the send button i'm going to send this json data inside this data i have email password check password and username now let me just click on this send button when i click on the send button you can notice i'm going to have the response something like this now this response is now coming from the mongodb database i'm going to have the unique id of this document then i'm going to have the email the hash password and the username we're going to get this value from the mongodb database and if you check your mongodb collection if you back to your mongodb cluster and refresh it you can notice you have here a database login db with the user collection and inside that you have here one document with unique id inside that document you have your email password and the username you can easily store the register values inside the mongodb database now once you understand how to add the register feature to your project let me show you how you can add this login feature inside this project 